What's going on YouTube? This is Jim and today I want to talk to you guys about my preliminary first look at this game right here, Pokémon Tournament. Now, I am not a huge Pokémon guy. I mean, I'm familiar with what Pokémon are. I have played some of the games in the past, but other than the main few like Pikachu and Squirtle and that's really about all I know, actually. <laughs> I don't know many of the other ones. Um, so why did I pick up this game? Well, it seemed interesting. The graphics looked really interesting. The uh, What I saw from the Nintendo Direct hooked me, and I was like, you know what? I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter V lately. I've been dabbling back in Mortal Kombat X a little bit. Let's give the Wii U a chance to see how it performs in a fighting game. And I have to say, I'm very pleasantly surprised. So inside of this very box includes the game and a Shadow Mewtwo Amiibo card. Now, uh, I am a huge Amiibo hunter. Well, I should say my wife is more of a huge Amiibo hunter. Um, she's gotten pretty much every single one under the sun uh, to date. Uh, we're building a little book bookcase behind me. I'll show you guys that when it's done of all the prize possessions that we have. But it does have Amiibo support. It is weird, though, to get the card. I mean, the card is okay. Yes, it functions the same as a real Amiibo. Um, but, you know, I like the real one better because it's a cool little figurine. I mean, this is just cool to look at, and he's just cool. Little Pikachu, he's there, right? Now, this game does have Amiibo support, not just for Pokemon Amiibo, and that's very, very limited. I don't know how many total there are. I think just two. I think you have um, maybe three. You have Charizard, Mewtwo, Pikachu. There may be others. I think that's it. Anyways, this game does have full Amiibo support. Um, it's got the official Amiibo logo on the upper corner to let you know that you can use your Amiibo. What does the Amiibo get you in this game? Not much. Your character will receive a slew of vanity items, hats, scarves, hairstyles, shirts, that sort of thing which you will see in the loading screen and occasionally in the corner when you're fighting. But other than that, it doesn't really add a lot. It's very similar to what Hyrule Warriors did, where you could scan in every amiibo you had every day. I think there's a limit, maybe like five or so a day. And as long as you have a random amiibo, it does not matter which one it is, you will be granted a random thing from the kitty. Now, if you don't have a lot of amiibo, it's not a big deal. As you play through the game, you will earn currency in which you can unlock all the in-game items and that sort of thing. So amiibo is just kind of a shortcut. If you have them, great. If not, great. So at least they give you Shadow Mewtwo. So at least once a day, if you wanted to, you could get a bonus vanity item. So... In of itself, Pokémon Tournament is a fighting game. It is very traditional to most fighting games you have with one major difference. There's actually two phases in the game. There's a field phase and there's a dual phase. Now, the field phase is a very drawn-out view of the map that has a, a wide overlay. You can move forward, back, left, right, any direction you want. During this phase, you can run around and collect little power-ups that appear on the map. You'll primarily, though, be using ranged attacks and um, entrance attacks that basically push you in close in combat. When that happens, a phase shift occurs, and that becomes the dual phase. And that is very similar to what you've seen in every other fighting game to date where you have a character on the left side of the screen and a character on the right-hand side of the screen. Certain moves break in and out of phases, so understanding which combination does what is important. It can keep your opponent off guard if they're not expecting what phase shift is going to happen. And you do have two different move sets, by the way, between two different phases. So you can break into a phase, then use an attack to break out of a phase. Certain specials have different uh, abilities. It's a deep combat system. I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, the, when you start up the game, it's a very lengthy narrated tutorial that breaks down in probably about 35 minutes every single mechanic in this game. And it is a lot to take in from a fighting pro vet such as myself. I was really struggling with some of the abilities and some of the skills and some of everything that they had. Um, you have different synergies, you have support gauges, you have block gauges, you have wall gauges, all these different kinds of checks and balances put into place. Now, could you treat this like a pure button masher and forget all that? You absolutely could. But if you really want to get deep in the combat system, it is very advanced for what it has. It has blocking, it has countering. And very similar to what uh, Fire Emblem does in the whole rock, paper, scissors system where each, each one ability has a oh, strength against a certain ability and weakness against others. Like a throw is good against a melee, but a throw is not good against a counter. A counter, you know, and it's 
uh, it's a it's a three way triangle that once you kind of understand what is happening in the battlefield, it will definitely allow you to play better because you will get a much better understanding of what's happening and how to accurately counter it instead of just button smashing sometimes you look like you do this really cool ability and it takes off almost no health because you didn't really use it in the proper way so the tutorial systems are nice but it is a very deep system and you know coming off as like a kid's game on the wii u and on the back you see all the different pokemon that come with the game and all the you know bright colorful imagery do not be deceived this is a very legitimate fighting game it's got a very deep combat system i would almost argue it's almost too deep for the casual for the person who just wants to hey i want to play as pikachu and smash stuff you may want to stick to smash brothers this may scare some people away now um all that aside, though, it is incredibly fun. The game looks gorgeous on the Wii U. I don't know what the frame rate is, but there's absolutely no stutter. It's the bright, colorful pictures that you expect from a Nintendo game. It looks amazing. The sounds are great. There's a lot of soundtracks from my understanding and the little bit of research I did. Uh, a lot of famous Pokemon-type themes have been remastered, kind of like what they did with Smash Brothers, where you have uh, old plays or new new takes on old songs. But um, there's a couple different areas to explore, uh, not explore, but uh, fight in different scenes, I guess, maybe famous to the Pokemon world or I don't know. Again, not knowing much about Pokemon, um, I nothing really stood out to me. Is but you can fight like in a city, you can fight in like a desert, you can fight in a forest, whatever. But it's pretty. It's fun, and I enjoy it. Um, it is fun to collect um, all the different vanity items, even though it really doesn't add much value. There are some cool mechanics that I really do enjoy, though, and I think this is where this game really takes it to the next level because it seems like it's a blend of all different fighting games. First of all, the two-phase thing is really, really interesting. I've never seen a fighting game that does anything like that. But similar to like a Marvel vs. Capcom where you could press a button and have a, a support hero come in, you can have support Pokemon that come and help you. And they have different abilities. They could slow down your enemy. They could buff you. They could give you health. They could fill up your gauges. And that's a lot of fun. That's kind of almost like turning the tide on a battle when, oh, things are going wrong. Better pull out Eevee, the little rat Pokemon guy who does something. That's cool. It's fun. Um, it's unexpected. And it really can change the tide of battle. You also have these ultimate moves that as you start attacking, you build up this meter. And those are really fun to watch, really powerful um, you know, like Pikachu, like hits you up in the air like 50 times, like turns into a giant lightning bolt, like blasts you. It's really, really neat to see. So there are some of, there's elements of that where you kind of have that assist, like buddy system. It's not just you versus the AI one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like bare bones street fighter rules. They have, they have, um, there's no environmental things like, like Mortal, Co like a Mortal Kombat X, for example, if you remember, had all the, uh, objects in the background that you can interact with you don't have that here so it doesn't have that piece which would have been nice to see but there are power-ups in the map that you can run on they give you little pieces of health or increase your boost or increase your support gauge or that sort of thing you can change your loadout of your support pokemon you can change your loadout of what some of your abilities do so that is really cool and i do enjoy that um Playing against people online is hit and miss. The Wii U has always been so-so when it comes to matchmaking. The few matches that I did get a chance to participate in seemed fine. I didn't have any lag. I am hooked up wired, though. I'm not using wireless anymore. I have um, In the past, I had wireless, and I found it had a lot of issues. So if you're having an issue, I bought this little uh, USB adapter. It was like 5 bucks. And uh, I have my Wii U plugged in wired now, and it seems to be significantly better in terms of downloading and updating and that sort of thing. Controls. You can use the old tried and true gamepad. Um, is that what they call this thing? The Wii U gamepad, I guess. doesn't have a name on it. But you know, this bad boy right here, right? You could use either the uh, control, uh, the analog stick, or you can use the uh, directional pad. So it, it's either or. It doesn't matter. Um you do use the trigger buttons, but just the top two, there's really no purpose for the back two, which is a little weird. If you're like me, though, and you prefer to get down and dirty with fighting games, this you can also use this. This has full support as well. This is the Wii U GamePad Pro, I think is what they call it. Um, and I like this a lot better. It just feels more like a real controller to me. 
The second screen function on the gamepad on this does absolutely nothing. It's just a complete mirror image of what you're seeing on the screen. There's no different statistics. There's no different easy press buttons to like press this to do a move or anything. I would have liked to see that. Only because this game is so complex, I would have really liked like a cheat mode um, where they had, oh, press this to like automatically do a throw or press this to call your support Pokemon or whatever because you're going to be doing a lot of button presses. Not in terms of button combinations like Street Fighter rules where it's like down, down, forward, forward, punch or anything like that, but you're going to be hitting like A and X, Y and B, A and B, X and Y often, and it would have been nice to have just boop, boop, where you could press it. Does that make the game easier? Maybe. I don't know. Does it take away the legitimacy of the game? I guess in that sense, I can understand it. But, you know, you always have to go back to the fact that this is a Pokemon game. And it's so weird to think that a Pokemon game is such a deep mechanic in terms of fighting. And I really see this game taking off in terms of competition because it really is pretty deep. I really do have to say that. Um, there's different tournaments and that sort of thing you can do. Right now, everything is done online, or it's already like single player experience. We have brackets and everything. I would like to see that extended to letting us make our own brackets. I think that would make this game more of an eSport per se. Uh, as far as the Pokemon, that was the last thing I wanted to touch on with you guys. Uh, you get 16 different Pokemon in the game. Um, I cannot tell you which ones they are. You're better off to look them up because um, there's a lot of I don't remember. There's a there's Pikachu. Sophie, hey, come on. I'm trying. Look, I'm trying to do Pokemon tournament review here. All right, and you're barking at the doorbell. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the um, there's 16 different Pokemon here. There is, which is weird to me. I don't understand this. I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see it. You have you see this all the way on the side here. That's Pikachu dressed as like a luchador, but you also have all the way on the other side over here, regular Pikachu. I don't know if there's two different Pokemons, whatever. I'm assuming there's more costumes, but in the select screen, you have Pikachu and then like luchador Pikachu. And I'm like, why? I don't get it. But enough about that. I've rambled on plenty with this game. I wanted to give you guys an impression on it. I really do enjoy it. If you have a Wii U, there is hope for you in terms of fighting games. If you're an avid amiibo collector like my wife slash I am, there's plenty of hope for these guys. You can use them. You can get vanity items. You can get more different move sets. You can get different special stuff. I don't know. There's a lot to unlock in this game. I wouldn't expect any less from a game that has such a deep heritage as this does. There's probably a lot of Easter eggs in the background of like, oh, I spotted Professor Oak over there in the corner or whatever. I don't even know if he's a thing anymore, but um, it's definitely a fan service to Pokemon fans, and I like that, but also for the casual Pokemon guy who's just looking for a fun fighting game, this definitely fits the bill. So, that is my initial impressions of Pokin Tournament. I will do another video with for you guys some point in the future, maybe tomorrow, maybe in 10,000 years, uh, where I give you guys my final thoughts on it after I've completely beaten the game and beaten the final boss and done everything I ha can possibly do in the game. But for now, I've probably spent about six or so hours in this game, so I have a pretty good feel for what the game is trying to accomplish, and that's why I thought it would be a good time to do a quick video with you guys and give you my initial impressions. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel, and as always, I will see you guys on the other side.